our mind is is already totally perfect, totally pure, totally pristine, totally open, totally vast like the endless sky. And um, to come to discover that this is so for you as well, in your own experience, is the greatest of gifts. That's the end of all search, right there, that recognition. It's just so beautiful and so powerful. And um, in this training, we give you one single instruction to really start to notice that, that your mind is completely pure, vast and open, regardless of what you're thinking and feeling right now. And that is just for this brief moment to just stop thinking. Just to give you that chance, you know, because if you're like me, I, I have been trained to focus so much all the time on what I'm thinking, what I'm feeling, what other people are thinking, what other people are feeling, you know, so busy with that. Never giving me myself that chance to, to really see if there's something about me that is always stable, this crystal clear mind that is always, always available for me to rely on. To be honest, I, I didn't know this about myself before I met this training because I was so busy describing, analyzing, what, why do I think these thoughts? Why do I have these emotions? <coughs> it takes a lot of energy, a lot of time to do that. So just to be given this instruction, this, this moment even, to, to just let yourself just stop that describing and just see what remains. See that you are not <clears throat> dependent on that for true living. You're not dependent on that description to function. And I had to test that for myself because I was sure I, I was dependent on it to function. I thought I couldn't relate, I couldn't work, I couldn't do anything if I was not, you know, into that game of categorizing my experience into positive, negative, neutral descriptions, all the labeling, all of that, all the time, all the time. It's such an effort. But in that brief moment where you stop thinking, you see yourself as that pure, vast, open intelligence. You see that all this that you used to describe are just spontaneous and dynamic expressions. All the thoughts, emotions, memories, people, places, things, all of it. Spontaneous, dynamic expressions of yourself right now. Free, <laughs> natural. Nothing special about it. It's just natural. We don't need to do anything with it. That's new. <laughs> That's radical. You don't need to do anything with it. You don't even need to describe it. It's just natural for a human being to have these dynamic expressions. So we just call it data. We make it simple. It's just data. Always dreaming. And when you take that short moment, you come to see that this dynamic expression is insep inseparable from your true nature, from yourself as open intelligence, just like the color blue and the sky, just like the breeze and the air. Instinctively, you relate to that. You know you cannot separate the color blue from the sky. You know that. And also the same goes for you. You could never separate your thoughts and emotions and put it into a positive box. It was an imagination. I fooled myself, you fooled yourself. That's just how we did our life to the best of our ability. But it was a waste of time and energy. <laughs> waste of time and energy. So now we, we really start to see when we don't do this anymore that we have so much energy. And that energy doesn't look a certain way, that we have to, you know, never feel tiredness anymore, or never feel exhausted. 
But it's just that openness while feeling everything in life, while feeling tired, depressed. There is that stability there. Because life is not about a game of gaining positive experiences. <laughs> Again, we fooled ourselves. We want to live life fully now, not to shy away from anything in our life. A good example is just to go up here on stage and I really wish that all my thoughts and emotions were on a bubble here, you know, you could read it and then you could see it's so possible to just let that stream and I don't need to follow it because then I would be <laughs> out down from stage and I would be gone, <laughs> I wouldn't be here. But that's my commitment and, and I know that I'm here and I'm sharing my life with you and, and I'm showing you that <laughs> These thoughts and emotions is my treasure trove. This is how I know I can connect to each one of you. Because you also know how it is to have fears, anxiety. You also know how it is to be depressed. You also know how it is to, to be arrogant. That's a good one. Arrogance is a good one. I never knew that I could be so arrogant about my depression making my afflictions to be something very special. <laughs> that was so arrogant, so self-focused. But it took some short moments and some support from this training to really be completely honest with myself. And that's pure honesty is what you want. That is being fully alive, shying away from nothing. Being fully alive with everything. No stones unturned, all data streams seen clearly, even the, the ones you don't want to see. And normally pride and arrogance is not something we like to say we are. <laughs> At least I was trained to just, oh no. So I, I actually thought I, I was far too uh, internalized, oppressed <laughs> and feeling so depressed and unworthy and never feeling good enough that, that uh, Pride and arrogance were not something I ever thought I, I even had experienced. But now I see it's been with me all the time. So the oath shining is to see it clearly and be fine with that. It's not to get rid of it. So th this is, you know, so beautiful to, f to maybe for the first time in your life to see that life is not about getting rid of something to change something about yourself or others or circumstances. We might, you know, sit here and we have some favorite data we want to change right now. But the power is in just relying on short moments of open intelligence repeated many times until it becomes continuous in the face of everything. So that's the old shining, you know, that's where you see everything clearly, just like the sun is rising in the morning and you start to see the landscape just clearer and clearer. So now with each short moment you see yourself clearer and clearer, you see everyone clearer and clearer. Because it's through your own life you see all worlds, it's through your own life you see everyone. Before I thought that was, you know, a very magical, special thing to do, but that's just normal, that's life, we are all connected through our own experiences. Yeah, that's so beautiful. I mean, I, I wouldn't be a like to be anywhere else than in myself, as myself, fully. Before I wanted to be everywhere else. <laughs> than with me <laughs> and my experiences. And I did so many things to jump out of my experiences, to try to forget my experiences. You know, and yeah, so one of them were to, to really go on with an amazing career and uh, working for these big international organizations, traveling the world and I, maybe I was arrogant even then, you know, I was this special person that were, you know, working in the world and, and really saving people from 
dying from hunger and, you know, I did so many good things. But I see that I was in those circumstances with so many fears. Fears of myself, first of all, of all the responsibility. Couldn't, couldn't handle stress. I was so stressed out of the responsibility and so stressed by all the poverty I saw. Oh, it was so painful to be in that. So I saw that actually so much of my, my talent in life, my creativity, my skills, were completely wasted into managing myself. So if I, if I went back and everyone in that organization didn't do that anymore, I cannot even imagine what we would have done. But so much more energy and creativity and talent and skills would be only devoted to create beneficial solutions to the benefit of all. No more of the power games of, you know, I'm not going to tell you what I just saw now because I want to wait until I can tell it to my boss and then the boss would, she found out this good solution. There was just so much going on and everyone was so afraid of each other. It doesn't matter where that that is, in which country, in which organization, because we have the same training. The training we all have had as human beings up until now is to believe in the independent nature of our thoughts and emotions, all of our data, that they have a power over us to limit us, to define us. I didn't know how I could experience stress and being relaxed at the same time before I met this training and now I know that's possible. I have days with so much to do, but that stress is never anywhere to be found. It's just many things to do. No more descriptions. Where is this, the word stress? I mean, where is it? It's just many things to do and I do one thing at a time, one moment at a time and it you know, in a short moment I see all I have is this moment. This moment doesn't even have a beginning or end. It's just this moment with this person, with this task. And how would I like to show up in this moment? So anything with a beneficial speech and, and the desire to, to show up beneficially, I could never even think about how to do that, to contrive that. Again, to try to be someone that beneficial person that, that knows everything about benefit, <laughs> having a master in benefit. <laughs> so no, again, just keeping it simple, every moment just relaxing body and mind, taking those short moments back to that all the time. That simple instruction, which is the one of the four mainstays, which is the education we provide in Balanced View. So that repetition of that single instruction and have a trainer and have trainings and a community that support you to always remember that possibility. That possibility to see that you are innately beneficial. You cannot create that. But when you relax and feel that safety within all your experiences, all you want to do is to contribute. All there is left then when you feel completely stable, free, open like the sky, completely unaffected by all of this going on. The only thing that's left is that desire, that fire to be of benefit. I couldn't think my way into that, but I can only share that every day I experience that more and more and more. It's just an endless experience, inexhaustible. So I don't need to, to worry about doing this right. <laughs> I only commit to the four mainstays and train this up instinctively. That's the only commitment and the only decision I make in my life these days. <laughs> it seems to just be very natural to live life in a very effortless way where decisions 
just a part of life, not something to worry about or think about decisions on anything in life and, and how I want to use my time and, and energy and how to show up beneficially. It's beautiful to know that we innately all know this. And it's just obvious that this is the way that we move forward as humans. We leave behind this life where we were trapped into a mind we thought were just locked into our body or somewhere. In that prison of trying to manage these thoughts and emotions and have them in right order. An impossible game. We give that up. We blast it open in a short moment and we move forward together. And together we show others what's possible through our own example and our own direct experience of how it is to live life. So thank you so much for, for just showing up to your true potential as a human being. Because then every moment is an honor. You're honoring your own experience, you're honoring everyone. Thank you so much everyone.